I am so grateful to my seatmate, Joe Chaplick, Reps. for running this bill. Very proud to co-sponsor it. Uh, we saw what happened during the last uh, four or so years, three, three or so years, I should say, um, with the COVID madness that gripped this country. We saw how the executive branch, under a Republican governor, it must be admitted, under a Republican governor, seized the rightful prerogatives of this body and just refused to let them go for years and years and years. It subverts the fundamental underlying structure of this state and this republic. And I'm glad that we're taking a stand today to make it stop. Of all of the, of all of the reasons that our constituents sent Joe and I up here to do the people's work, perhaps there was none as motivating as the state of emergency that existed under COVID uh, and the way that it was used by the state to justify the deprivation of individual liberty in the name of security. This bill is a constituent-driven bill par excellence. Our constituents are howling for it. And in fact, many constituents of the people across the aisle have been howling for it. There is nothing that has made more people who are on the fence into Republicans than the fact that we were willing to stand strong against the state's encroachment of their rights. And this bill will put the power to deal with these emergencies on a long-term basis, back in the hands that it always should have been in, in the first place, the primary branch of government, the legislature. And with that, I do proudly vote aye. Representative Colladin votes aye. Chaplick. Uh, rise to explain my vote. Please proceed. Thank you very much. This is one of the more important bills that we'll see this year, considering that it puts the power back to the legislature with the balance of power for all of us that we represent our constituents. And for us to sit in this room and look at this board where it's gonna be a party line vote, shocks me that it's not 60 to zero as a legislator because of the balance of power that provides more strength to the legislature why we're down here. This brings us back into session to have a discussion of any continuation of state of emergencies. This is a good bill we should all be voting for 60 to nothing instead of playing petty politics. With that, I'm a yes. Thank you.